welcome to my YouTube channel where we like to talk about skincare, mindset and other things to basically make you happy so if that sounds like your thing hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to be talking to you about probably the most important skincare item out there which is sun cream. Now as a person of colour I have really struggled over the years trying to find something that did it make me look like a pale white ghost. So. That's basically what I want to share with you today, my favourite sunscreens that don't leave a white cast and make your skin look beautiful. So, let me first start just by explaining why you need sun cream because I always hear people of colour tell me that they don't need sun cream because the melanin in their skin protects them and I just want to say no. You still need sun cream, even if you are someone of colour, that melanin is not enough to protect you from the sun. Now, the sun can cause quite a lot of damage to your skin, it can cause burning, it can cause irritation, it's one of the main contributors to premature ageing. And also, if you are someone with like hyperpigmentations or scarring, sun damage is going to darken up those spots, so if you have hyperpigmentation, the sun is going to make it worse. That's why you need to protect yourself from the sun and protect your skin. So there are two different types of sun cream that you can actually buy. You can buy chemical sunscreens and physical sunscreens. So chemical sunscreens tend to be the ones that don't really leave a white cast, but some of the ingredients that they use for it can be detrimental to the environment and they don't always tend to work for everyone. The physical sunscreens kind of are, are different and they however are the ones that tend to leave a white cast but there is a lot of advancements and there are now more and more products that are coming out which don't leave those white casts. So today's videos are going to be my favourite sunscreens that I personally use um, and yeah. So the first product I'm going to share with you today is my all time favourite. This is the Misha Essence Sun Milk. It is an incredible product. Um, it's SPF 50 and you'll find that all the products that I share with you today are SPF 50 um, and it's PA++++ and that's basically an indication of how much it protects you against UVA. Now the reason why I love this product is actually because of the texture and formulation. This genuinely does feel like it's milk. It is such a lightweight formula that glides onto your skin, sinks in, doesn't leave a white cast and is genuinely just a really really breathable product. And with sun creams you're meant to reapply during the day which means because it's so lightweight it is absolutely fine to kind of like layer and build on. It doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel thick and sticky. So especially in like really, really warm weather, this is just such a great product to kind of wear. It's also got really great ingredients in it as well. So it's got rosebud, it's got aloe, and it's got other kind of ingredients that will really help to like calm the skin. So the fact that it's really, really lightweight will actually really help you for if you have like acne prone skin because it's not like clogging up your pores. Um, so that's something that I really look for in a sun cream um, because I have combo skin. Um, but also means that if you do have acne, the fact that it has calming ingredients kind of really, really help it and stop kind of like irritations from happening from wearing sun cream, which I absolutely, adore this is a um, waterproof um, a water resistant product as well the only thing that I would say watch out for is the fact that this has some in like fragrance in it you can't really smell it but I do think that if you have like really sensitive skin this might be a product that doesn't quite work for you but otherwise absolutely love this product I'm not too fussed with fragrance um, my skin isn't irritated by it so for me this is genuinely my favorite skincare product and yeah I'm holding it upside down or backwards the second product I'm going to share with you guys today is this. This is the Super Glue Play Everyday Lotion. It's SPF 50 and is PA++++. Four pluses basically. Um, it's a really great sun cream. It has sunflower extract. It's a chemical sunscreen um, which is coral, which is reef really safe by that. I can believe that they mean that it doesn't damage the coral reef. It's got no fragrance in it and is a vegan product. Now again, this is a product that's really, really lightweight. So again, it's buildable, it's thin, and it kind of like glides onto your skin and it doesn't leave a white cast. They are basically all the things that I look for in a sun cream because I don't like the idea of clogging up my pores or anything that's too thick that I feel as though my skin's not breathing. Um, but yeah, Super Gloop is an incredible product for SPF products themselves. Um, they have several different versions. So this is a play one. You can use it, you know, it's water and sweat, sweat resistant. So you can use it when like swimming and stuff. So this is more of like everyday use. They do have other sun creams 
out there. So you've got the Unseen Cut Sun Cream, which is more of like a primer as well. So it works really, really well under your makeup. I do think that this will work well under your makeup as well, but I mean, don't keep my word on it. I don't really use foundation or concealer, so I can't really comment on that. Um, they have a glow scene one as well, which is more like a tinted sunscreen. Again, I'm not sure how it would work on a person of colour and I've never tried it out myself, so I can't really comment on that. But it is there and available. And the last one I believe that they do is like a mattifying one. So it kind of leaves a more matte finish. This one, it doesn't make give you like a shine or anything. It does leave you with a really, really nice finish that isn't shiny and isn't matte. It just makes a nice natural kind of glow. So yeah, I really love this product. The third product that's my absolute favourite is the Kiehl's SPF 50 PA++++, meant to be four pluses, I'm not sure if there was, but really, really great product. I don't really have it in the house so I can hold it up and show you, but I will leave a picture of it on the screen. I'm currently experimenting and looking for other sun creams out there, um, but it, the Kiehl's one was genuinely my absolute go-to product for years and years and years and years and years. Um, I always bought it whenever I was at the airport. I think it's slightly cheaper at airports as well, um, but really, really incredible product. Um, it's lightweight, um, so it is buildable as well. It's a slightly thicker formula than the other two products. Um, it's fragrance-free, paraben-free, um, it's also non comedogenic so it doesn't like clog your pores, even though it is a thicker fo formula, it doesn't clog your pores, causing you acne or anything. Um, yeah, it, they also say that it's anti-pollution. I'm not sure how it works or how effective it is, um, but if that's something that you are really interested in, then go for it. Um, I'm not gonna comment on its effectiveness or recommend it based on that, but it is a really, really great sun cream product. Now the Kiehl's one tends to be more expensive than the other products that I've spoken to you about today, but it's also the one that's most widely available and most accessible in the UK. I really struggle to find the other products in the UK. If you, however, want to purchase them, I have left a link to where you can purchase them in the description bar below. So do purchase them if you want to try them out. And if you do, let me know what you think of them. But yeah, the Kills one, really, really great. And you know, you can get them in most places, it's so easy to buy the Kiehl's um, in the UK. The last product that I want to share with you is the La Roche Posay Anthelios. I can't say it. The, na the name and a picture of it is on the screen for reference instead because um, I can't pronounce it. Again, not a product that I have in the house, but a product I have used and liked in the past. Now, this product it is actually on the lower end of the price scale. I think it's the cheapest of all the products that I've mentioned so far. Really, really good product. Doesn't leave a white cuff and I really did enjoy it. Um, but yeah, so that is all my favourite sun cream products. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more videos. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely day. It's actually sunny in England for once, so I'm going to be going out. Remember to SPF, guys, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye!